Welcome, everybody. Uh, first off, I'd like to acknowledge the search committee. Uh, they did great work. It was a very swift process, but I think we've, we found a great end result. Um, you know, we had an ideal candidate, uh, some characteristics laid out for what we wanted to accomplish with this search. Uh, we wanted somebody who had excelled in Division I as a head coach, not just been a Division I head coach, but somebody that has excelled. And if you look at Coach Richie Grant's record at Memphis, uh, 19 games over 500, about a 600 winning percentage, three conference coach of the years, um, I think we accomplished that characteristic. We also wanted somebody who's tapped into the professional ranks, somebody who's great at developing players. If you look at his track record, you have student athletes that have accomplished conference player of the year, offensive player of the year, and he has several of his Memphis Tigers that are playing in the MLS and overseas. We also wanted somebody that was committed to academics. It's student-athlete, not athlete-student. And again, if you look at Coach Grant's record at Memphis, he's received some of the highest uh, awards in his profession in terms of his team's performance in the classroom. And that's a very big part of what we do here at Bakersfield. We also wanted somebody who can come in and really establish an identity for our men's soccer program. And with his longevity in the coaching ranks, um, and with his success, I think he's just a fine addition to our complement of great coaches here at Bakersfield. He's a community-minded individual. His student-athletes take part in community service. Um, he and his wife, Jody, have really, uh, in their short time here, uh, liked what they've seen from what Bakersfield has to offer as a community, and it's very, very attractive to them. So instead of me just rambling on, I'd rather get the man of the hour up here uh, for some comments. We're very, very pleased and thankful that Coach Richie Grant Jody have decided to make Memphis, or excuse me, Bakersfield home and leave Memphis. Um, and without any further ado, Coach Richie Grant. <laughs> As Corey hoped, it should have been good afternoon, right? But uh, it's good afternoon in Memphis, I suppose. It's, it's two hours ahead. But um, Jeff, thanks a million uh, for the introduction. I've had a, an awful lot worse introductions than that. Um, it's quite hard to stand back there and, and listen to. Um, and also, Dr. Mitchell, who's not here today, had time with him yesterday. Um, it's just a real privilege to, to be a part of, of, uh, of Bakersfield now, and, and I thank him for that opportunity. Uh, Dr. Wallace was instrumental as well, uh, time spent uh, on the telephone and, and during dinner last night just taught me so much about the campus and what it means to be a part of this, uh, this university. Um, Ziggy, Cindy and Mel, uh, just the process of, of welcoming us has, has been tremendous. Um, my wife, uh, for those that are married, um, it's not often you actually get to do something like this together. So it's been, it's been great, you know, we've been at Memphis for 15 years, but to actually partner together and go about the search together, and it truly was a move uh, for our family. Uh, we have two kids at home, um, we hope they're at home, um, and another one in the oven um, that will be born in California in, in June. So it, it really is uh, special for all of us to come together, so I thank her for her, um, her partnership with this. Um, I would like to start um, by acknowledging Simon um, as a coaching peer. Um, I have tremendous respect for what they've done with this program. It's, it's known nationally. Um, I'm very in touch with the RPI, with the national tournament, with scouting. Uh, we played some common opponents this year. Um, but what they did in their time here is, is absolutely tremendous. And uh, he'll always be... Uh, for me, a special part of the program because of that, but I just wanted to publicly acknowledge him. I, I feel like David Moyes, if anybody knows the soccer world right now, uh, who just followed Alex Ferguson, um, so I'm in for a tough time here. But uh, I just wanted to thank him for, for everything he's done, and I really hope to continue with it and progress the program in my time here. Questions? What is the biggest factor in coming to CSUV? Uh, the biggest factor, today it's the sun. Um, you have great players here in California. Um, the school has, has done very well. It's a quick transition to Division I. 
so that's going to be an interesting challenge. Uh, I think, um, you know, Dr. Mitchell and Jeff placing this program in the, the Western Athletic Conference is really important for all the sports here um, because there's competitive equity now and the teams have an opportunity for postseason play. So the conference is a big plus. I won't answer it with the biggest, but there are, are many factors for me. I think there's super players in California and that are at our disposal that can stay in the state and allow this program to be really good. Um, but probably the thing that Jody and I value the most is the sense of family on this campus. It's, it's uncommon. It is uncommon. I've, I've worked at one place for an awful long time, but I've been around an awful lot of Division I schools. And those of you that are familiar watching the school make the transition uh, into a conference, you know, we've been, we've been pushed by football and basketball and bigger leagues and different leagues, and people are moving all over the place. With, there's a real lack of stability in Division I athletics. And you come to a school like this, and um, the coaches speak so highly of the school, um, of their programs. They're excited. They're driven for success here. And I think that has been um, very comforting uh, to become a part of that. That's a long answer for you, by the way. <laughs> Are you going to be retaining any assistant coaches? Re uh, coaches that are here at the moment? Yes. Uh, I've not met with them, um, so that's, that, that is the next, uh, the next piece of it. You know, in, in this industry, uh, we all have ideas on what we want to do, but I, I've made no uh, set plan. I'd have to sit down, with, sit down with all the lads here later on, which I'm really looking forward to, and, and find out what the, the future holds for everybody. You mentioned the program with Simon Lab. Talk about building on his success and the growth that he's had with the program. I think the build-on is it's one year in the conference. Um, I think the league has a chance to become a two-bid league. Uh, I don't think the league was very strong this year in terms of national RPI, and that will need to improve as a league, and that will be a sit-down with the, with the fellow coaches. I've been through a couple of leagues that have really improved their RPI as, as a conference, in, uh, the whole conference, to give that opportunity for a second or third bid. So that will certainly be a goal to place us in a situation that you don't have to win the league uh, to get a bid, um, which is strength of schedule and recruiting. Um, you know, you just have to, you, you like to bring new ideas to a program, uh, you like to bring uh, different recruiting connections, and I, I know that I bring that just coming from um, so many years of experience in a different league. Um, have you given much thought to the fact that you're going to be playing Simon in your conference opener and... I don't, I, it probably won't be that contentious, but in the week up, we'll probably be talking about it a lot. But can you just give us some thoughts on that? That's it's great for you guys, you know. I mean, to, that's super for the sport. I mean, uh, sports and, and football, they just, they just keep going around like that. I think it's awesome. I mean, I'm delighted that he's continuing to coach and uh, to be a conference rival right away. I mean, every game's going to be a new game for me next year in the league. Um, so, yeah, I hope it's a great game and I hope we win by a lot. <laughs> How do you describe your coaching style? Um, it, it changes over time, um, but it, I'm a player's coach. You know, I, I still um, I still see myself as a player oftentimes, so I I I, uh, I can connect with the players on that level. I try to not be a yeller, and that's tough. You know, I save that for the kids at home, um, but I try to let the players play. Um, and most of my work is done on the training ground. Um, I'm really big. That's the two uh, best hours of my day uh, in terms of being out there. That's why we have to build a new training pitch. We're going to get working on that here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. um, but that, that's the most fun part of the job is connecting with the lads in those couple of hours in terms of training. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Look forward to it.